many of us know that uh, the original congregation was a Chinese congregation. Yes. Can you explain the Chinese characters on the facade? And so, yes, you, when we see the, uh, when we encounter the facade, we actually are encountering the words Tian Zhu Tang, which is a very ancient word chose by the first uh, the first missionaries to China. Mm -hmm. They chose to adopt this word to symbolize Catholicism and to symbolize this God that they were preaching to right. the people in China. And they chose this word Tian Zhu Tang and it has great symbolism because Tian Zhu Tang means not just God or God's church, but the word Tang means also it's a gathering hall of the family. And so this is the gathering hall of the family of God. Well, and this word Tian Zhu Tang is exclusively used by Catholics, right. not by the Protestants. And so once a Chinese sees this word mm -hmm. Tian Zhu Tang, he knows that immediately this is a Catholic church. Was it also meant to differentiate the, the Catholic churches from, say, the Taoist temples of that time, or the temples of that time? Yes and no, although they may use the same words, but no one classified their temples or their gathering place as Tian Zhu Tang, All right. except for the, the Catholics. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. Okay. In fact, the, the words that you see, mm -hmm. incidentally, happens to be on three arches, right. found in what we will call the narthex of the church. And in this narthex of the church, you have these three arches. These three arches uh, evokes the arch of triumph, or what we call the arc de triomphe. Ah. It's a triumphant arch because why it's not that the church is just being triumphalistic. Right. But this triumphant arch symbolizes the triumph of Christ, of his passion, death, and resurrection right. in, in gaining God, in gaining a people of God. It's saving the people of God and as the people of God gathers to enter this church, they are entering triumphantly into the heavenly city ah. which Christ actually has won for them. There is so much symbolism and we haven't even really started, we haven't even gone in yet Father. Okay, so now I'm just looking at again the front that, that is embellished with all these yes. other symbols it is that the, we see. On this uh, triumphant arch, you see, very interestingly, uh, certain Asian, Asian accent mm -hmm. onto the, uh, the structure. First thing that we, hang, we will see are eggs that actually can be seen ah, okay. in the cornices of the, this, uh, the narthex. So those the round the accents are actually symbols of eggs? eggs. And eggs in for the Chinese symbolizes joy. Life, yeah, yeah, right. that's right. You no, know, usually a baby's first month family yeah. is to exchange the red egg, eggs. right? Yeah. Okay. You have this egg symbolizing joy, life, and hence the Easter egg yes, as well. Egg ah, well. okay, makes so, sense. Yes, and so even Christianity had this sense of uh, life through these eggs. And but was it because, I mean, you know, because this was generally a, a church for the Chinese for the congregation And so they had all this incorporated into the symbolism Well, that's wonderful yes. And also just above the arch you see those uh, garlands and so Yes It, it symbolizes a celebratory uh, accent that this building is for a celebration Right What are we celebrating, of course? When we enter the church, it's always a celebration of the Eucharist which gives us eternal life. Correct. Also, what's interesting is you see on the building, uh, you see on the spire. Ah, yes. Also, and around the building, you see all these leaves that look like lettuce leaves. They are called crockets. Okay. They are usually found on Gothic architecture. These crockets on spires and on the side of the building symbolizes that this building is not just any building, but it has a garden theme. A garden a theme. Garden theme. Why? Because we are evoking again the eternal garden of Eden. Wow. Yes. Okay. Who would have thought of that? Yes. <laughs> and interestingly, if you look at the crown of all the spire, right, where you have the 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 main bud, the bud looks like a lotus leaf. Yeah. And so. 
Is that Eastern Can again? You know, no, yes, that's right. And so the architecture, uh, the architect, right, uh, purposely included these Asian Chinese accents, accents yeah. to this architecture. Well, that's very interesting.